Hello everybody and welcome! Last week, Kerbal Space Program 1.8 called More Boosters was released and well, part of these More Boosters were solid rocket boosters and you see them right here. Four of the new thoroughbred solid rocket motors are flying up in the air transporting the rest of the rocket which basically has no other means of propulsion than solid rocket motors. Yes, I'm going to attempt something for the first time that I never did in Kerbal Space Program in all my years, which is flying a rocket to the moon just with solid rocket boosters. And you have seen here the stage separation, the thoroughbreds have uh, fallen away and we're on the Clydesdale. Both are 2.5 meter diameter and both feature thrust vectoring. So you can see the gimbal working because the plume is, plume is moving up and down depending on my control inputs. So while is, this is flying up in the air, let's talk about what I'm actually doing here. I'm trying a so-called direct ascent method, which is skipping, uh, having to perform a, a circular orbit around the uh, planet Kerbin and instead flying directly to the moon with an impact trajectory. So the goal is going to be point to the moon, fly over there and brake as hard as you can and hope that you don't crash. So what you can see here is not a launch escape system, but another stage designed to, well, compensate for any, let's say, thrust that we have too much implemented, so to speak. What you can see here is, yeah, exactly that. I had way too much delta V and I tried to uh, oscillate the rocket around and around to compensate for that. But it was too much, so this little stage up here, kind of a tractor stage, is designed just for that to get the trajectory back into a more manageable space. And it did exactly that, which is great. And now it pulls away. I also have some other tiny solid rock mirrors over there that I thought I could use for some really minuscule um, trajectory changes and I thought maybe I could use them over here. They have about 13 meters per second delta V and that was too much. Again! So let's try this again. Once again we have a better look at our main vehicle, at our payload basically. And this time, well probably my trajectory was a lot better or my ascent trajectory was a lot better than before or my wiggling with the nav ball as you can see here because we actually got a decent encounter with the moon and separating from the main booster pushed us forward enough which was just a tiny amount of delta v but it pushed us forward enough to there we go have our impact trajectory and it looks quite good to be honest so we're going to, to land while in the sunlight, the tractor stage is going away and we also don't need these tiny solar rocket motors, otherwise we mess up our trajectory again, which we don't want to do. Speaking of messing up, well here's now the tricky part. Firing this thing at the exact right moment so that my lander touches down before, yeah that happens. again. Okay, all in all, I tried about, I had about eight failed attempts until I had one successful attempt. You can see the little chart here. I had to narrow it down to break exact or activate the ignition at exactly two minutes and 13 seconds before impact. Again. And this it is. This is the final attempt that actually was the success. Well, how do I know that my impact time is 2 minutes and 13 seconds? Well, that's an information that the mod Kerbal Engineer Redux gives me. And here we go. We're almost there. Almost there. Look at that. Look at the velocity. And at just 1 meter per second, we touched down. <laughs> I couldn't have planned this any better. This was great. Well planned, I actually tried a lot of times until, <laughs> until I managed to do that. So while we're here, let's do a victory lamp. I made Jab wear the old suit because solid rocket boosters are basically old technology and yeah, to celebrate the occasion, of course, we plant the obligatory flag. 
So now to get back. First the landing leg extender. Things uh, double up as the first part of the ascent stage. They have about 180 meters per second of delta V and the main ascent stage on which we are now has about 600, 700, something like that. The idea is um, I throttled them down. You can adjust the thrust level for the solid rocket booster in the editor. And I did just that so I could control it better. And it burned out exactly as we, uh, we intersect with the planet Kerbin. So, well, that's a good thing, right? So the only thing left to do is hit time acceleration, wait until we are in Kerbin's atmosphere and hope that the heat shield can manage all of those forces and that the parachutes won't break. Well, that would be a bummer if that happened so close to the end of the mission. Okay, we separated our capsule, we're flying into the atmosphere. Parachutes deploying, we had 27 G's of acceleration, so yeah, Kerbal's quite sturdy people, aren't they? And we splashed down successfully. That said, so what do you think? Are you going to try a solid rocket booster build to get to the moon or maybe to Minmus? That would be interesting. Tell me in the comments if you have attempted that and what you think of KSP 1.8. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel for more and follow me on my social thingies. The links are in the description. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.